Hi guys, Ryu here with not it for Blender and this one I want to show you another cool feature from the new box cutter that dropped like two or three days ago. In a previous video I was showing you Taper, so go ahead and watch it if you didn't. Uh, but this one is pretty crazy. Before we start this video guys, very quickly, we have a Patreon uh, for Blender Bros. We run together with Josh, so if you would like to support what we do, please join us on Patreon. Many thanks to every single person on Patreon who became our supporter. You guys are amazing. In addition to all this, we are running a Discord for Blender Bros. So if you would like to join Blender Bros Discord, there's a link in the video description. See you guys there. So this one really pushes, in my opinion, box cutter to a new level because it allows you to cut any, any angle, any geo, and it's really cool. It's very fast. So check this out. If I wanted to slice this cube, by the way, I was trying to do this on 2.9. But my therapist called me and told me to stop, um, so I, I'm back in 2.83, and I'm fine. So don't worry about me, guys, I'm fine. Everything is okay. Now, if I want to cut this cube, everything is peachy, right? Now, if I'm going to rotate this cube, everything is peachy. But what if I'm going to have a new cube, right? And I'm going to move it somewhere here, and go to edit mode, select these edges, and bevel them. And then I wanted to... You know align my cut to one of these edges i can't do it you see i can't do it because my cutters are aligned to to shape going in a, you know zero 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 rotation because when i go to end panel and go to item you can see that my rotation is basically um, zeroed right so the cutter will never align to this edge now the only way to achieve this would be uh, by um, going through the old tool in box cutter that normally of you guys probably know it's called um, uh, this one, Active Only. So when I activate Active Only, now what I can do is select this object and this object and cut along according to the rotation of this object, you see. But every time I wanted to switch, I would need to actually reselect this object and then, you know, cut it this way. But that's a little bit of a lot of work, especially when you have custom angles, you know, because this one this one is actually a 45 degree angle. But what, what if it's a custom angle like this? And then, you, you know, you bug it because you need to align these cubes and, you know, do all this snappy malarkey in here and just, uh, it's just annoying. So now with the new tool, uh, we got a new alignment. I mean, with the new box cutter, we got a new alignment system and it's really a little brother amazing. So check this out. Now, if you're going to go to shift view alignment menu, you can now see this drop down menu, which allows you to choose a uh, different options so for example nearest edge and now when i'm gonna you know gonna run these cuts uh, along the nearest edge it doesn't matter you know uh, which orientation i mean it's gonna work and if it doesn't you can all, always switch to uh, the longest edge and it should work perfectly so you see that um, this is actually a fantastic tool let's switch back to uh, nearest edge and see if it's gonna work here there you go so you see this is much faster way of working so you could you know create really cool stuff very quickly like this you know you could just simply align a cutter in here right shift it to life go to uh, hard ups uh, bring you know cursor to uh, to select it grab this cutter and control click the, uh, this uh, radial array right click uh, on this dot so control right click and then uh, you simply uh, adjust the number of arrays here and boom done that's how fast you can work now so i think this is brilliant addition to uh to the new box cutter it really pushes stuff a little bit further and will allow to you know it will allow for for much faster cuts on very interesting angle which you probably might have you know avoided because you said ah fuck it it's just too much work but not you know now you can just you know no excuses yeah no excuses guys so now you can really cut the hell out of these cubes so anyway hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub uh, links to box cutter hard ups and tons of other add-ons that i use and recommend in video description so if you need these add-ons go ahead and buy them through the links you're gonna help me as well doesn't cost you anything thanks for watching catch you in the next one